So after defining all my load types, we are just going to assign a load combination. So basically, we have two types of load combination in this. Okay. So first one is manually. You can define it manually, or another according to code, you can generate it automatically. Means that one is going to generate it automatically. Two cases. Basically, we require two kinds of. In a manual, we have two kinds of combination. First of all, collapse for collapsibility. Second one is for service speed. Collapse for collapsibility. And second is service speed. In a collapsibility, we are going to take a factor of 1.5 of each. We are going to take a factor of Factor of factor is 1.5 of each load. Factor of service. In that case, serviceability we are going to take it one. Okay. So now we are going to see both of them. First of all, click on load case details and then add it. In add, you can see here we have a load generation, define combination, auto load. Okay, so first of all, we are going for define combinations. So, if you want to define it manually, then you can define it with the help of this. So, like uh, you can name it as collapsibility or serviceability over here, and then we just need to pick all modes over here according to your requirement. Like, I just want to provide collapsibility or serviceability. So, this one is which one? Service service. Similarly, you can also provide the collapsibility with a factor. Okay, rename it as. These are the two combinations you can define. Okay, another So now, after define it manually, now we are going to see how to generate it automatically. Next one is auto load combinations. Auto load combination. Select your code over here. Like we have Indian code, click on this journal structures. Click like if it's a steel plastic kind of structure, so you can just need to pick a second one. Right now we are in journal. So just select the journal structure and now generate loads. So these all are the combination it's going to create by its own self. And now add it. So if you want to create repeat load cases, just click on this, it's going to create a repeat load cases also. Okay. So now add it. These are all the combinations we have manually or default load combination. Okay. Now we are going to analyze it. So before we are going to analyze it, we just need to click on assign analysis print or add this. Now analyze the analysis. So in analysis you can see we have one kind of UBC IBC analysis and the tension compression this kind of work remove this one to remove this one so we close this and come to stack here we just need to write down some things over there to remove this like at this enter write down perform analysis change caps lock perform 
एंटर एंड देन चेंज लेट देम ऑल एट वंस अगेन क्रिएट अ कॉपी पेस्ट इट अगेन एट द सेट बिलो द सेट ऑल्सो सो व्हाट इज परफॉर्मेंस एनालिसिस चेंज नाउ कंट्रोल एस टू सेव इट नाउ क्लोज इट अगेन एंड एनालाइज इट So now you can see we remove our warning from this. Okay, so in this way you can define all the things. Okay, to see the kind of reactions our beam has due to loading cases, so we just need to select the all load cases. Now to check all kinds of reactions our beam has or kind of shear force bending on it. So we are just need to click some load cases over here according to which you want to see the changes in your beam. So basically, I'm dead or live you have to. But if you want, then all of you have to apply. Okay. Now click on beam, and here with the graph option, you can see the bending moment of each graph. For each beam, each column also. Kind of forces they have. There you can see maximum axial force. Like column has. Oh, you can see. Okay, so different with the different load cases, it has different. Like for this beam, this one is this axial load. For that load, it has this one axial. So in this way, it has different. So bottom one has more compared to the top one. Like, Now, after this, many moments, these are and then you push it. So this is all the work. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Here, let's write the beam number. So it's not going to define that which one is column, which one. According to him, all the things we want till we are going to define it in design composition. So this is all about model generation and assigning load analysis. Okay.